Thank you so very, very much. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's an honor to share the stage tonight with my colleague and dear friend, uh, Dr. Antonucci. We're both honored tonight because we've been asked to present the Educator of the Year Award, which represents and recognizes, honors, individuals in the field of education who have made a significant impact over the course of their tenure who have created a long-lasting and valuable legacy, and simply someone who has done very special things in the field of education. We will be presenting one Educator of the Year Award, and it's my job to introduce tonight's finalist. They include Stephanie Davios of the Sizer School in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, Rebecca Duda of the Richardson Middle School in Dracut, Massachusetts. And Kathy Egmont of the Lowell Community Charter Public School here in Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, thank you, Carol, and thank you, Jack, for those warm words tonight. And thanks to all of you for the warm applause. It's a pleasure to be with you. Working in the business world for 12 years caused this award recipient to question whether the world was a better place because of her actions. As a result, she returned to school and her message was clear. She was born to be an educator. This teacher believes that her role is not only to help students learn history, but also to help them become better citizens and apply what they learn to the world around them. A finalist for the 2014 Massachusetts Teacher of the Year, she is one of 24 teachers from across the state selected for the Educator Effectiveness Teacher Cabinet, advising the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education on current and new initiatives. A published author, the proceeds from her book, Drake It Revisited, were donated to the Drake It Scholarship Foundation, and her second book, will be published this winter. Tonight, we are honored, proud to honor Rebecca Duda as our 2014 <laughs> Educator of the Year. When I, today's my birthday, when I first asked my parents, <laughs> you know, I said I'd like to go out to dinner tonight, but this is really not what I had in mind. Uh, but um, nobody enters education thinking that one day that they will be recognized in such a way such as this. This is a wonderful celebration. And I'd like to first thank Jack Clancy and Enterprise Bank for everything. Thank you. I'd also like to thank my colleague, Catherine Bozan, for nominating me. Thank you, Kathy. And second, no one educator achieves anything as an individual. It does sound cliche, but it really does take a village to get the job done. Education is a collaborative effort. So I must thank my colleagues with whom I have taught for the past 10 years who were not able to be here tonight, Kim Dusham and Kirk Monblow, for all of their support and guidance every day for the past 10 years. And of course, our newest member of our team at the Richardson, uh, my math teacher, well, not my math teacher, but my colleague, Jeff Todd, who is here this evening, um, and in fact, I wish they could all be up here with me because we truly do teach as a team. Of course, the school is more than just our four teachers on our team. Uh, the people who I cannot thank enough every day are the secretaries, 
Jane Hoffman and Donna Yackel, and of course the custodians who put up with me when I stay late or when I have to ask help moving my very famous classroom fish tank. <laughs> In no successful school can be lacking leadership, so a heartfelt thanks to our new principal, Maria McGinnis, who has been undaunted by creating the, the new Richardson Middle School, so thank you. And of course, the central administration, led by Superintendent Stephen Stone, and of course, the school committee, and Dr. McNamara is here this evening. Thank you for representing. And a special thank you to my parents, who taught me probably the greatest lesson of education, that no one cares what you know until they know how much you care. And to the parents, and to the parents, families, and community members, working with your children is truly a blessing. And for the past 10 years, I can think of nothing else I would rather be doing or anything that is more rewarding. I am humbled each day when I think of the trust you place in me and all the teachers in our building when you send your children to our classrooms. So thank you.